In this video, I would like to show you how to get started with Canvas Workspace. It is a free cloud-based version of software by Brother, which will allow you to do much more with your Brother Scan and Cut than you can currently do using just your machine. The first thing you need to do is go to your browser and type in Canvas Workspace dot brother dot com and hit the enter key. My internet's thinking it's a little slow. If you already have an account, like I have two accounts for example, then you hit the login button, which I will do in just a minute. If you don't already have an account, then you click the register button. It's really amazing how many things Brothers off, Brother offers to us in terms of projects and things that we already made for your Brother Scan and Cut. I'm going to speed read through the agreement. Okay. And be sure you note that you actually read the user agreement. And as I said, it's free, but I'm just clicking I agree and register. Okay, remember whatever login ID that you create, that it's going to be on your machine. So mine is Paper Chef. So my machine is called Paper Chef, and then the software will be, my login name ID will be, is Paper Chef. So create a login ID that's meaningful for you, and a password, and it, you have to make sure that it's not already taken. And don't use any spaces, just say, it just says a 6 to 20 alphanumeric characters. Okay, let's scroll down. You create a password, associate an email address, first name, last name, birth date, gender. Okay, then you hit next, which I can't do because I'm not about to fill all this in for a third time. But you get the idea. Go through the registration process. I did it so long ago, I can't remember if they send you a confirmation email or not. Okay, then you, when you're all done, you can log in which I'm going to do. I'm just going back to canvasworkspace.brother.com. Okay. Incidentally, it used to be called like Scan and Cut Canvas, and I was even a little confused when they changed the name to Canvas Workspace. They did that because it's not just for people who have a scan and cut machine. Maybe people maybe crafters have a design and cut machine and maybe crafters just want to design for other for other purposes so they just name it canvas workspace so it's not associated with any one machine all right now i'm just going to log in and i'm going to type in paper chef and my password Actually, I don't remember a lot of passwords. I have a program. It's called RoboForm, and it remembers passwords for me. And all I have to do is log into RoboForm, and then it remembers my passwords for me, which I love. And I also usually tell Chekhov, remember my password. Okay, we are in Canvas Workspace. The first thing you're going to see is all these really neat projects that Brother offers us. They're ready-made. They're downloadable. Okay, so here are some new ones. And as you scroll down, they, you actually see them loading up onto the page. See? They're just loading up here. In the Advanced Scan and Cut course, we actually create this project here from start to finish. This milk carton shaped gift box project. I call it the candy box project. I'm just scrolling down some more to just give you an idea. Okay, another project we create is called a dice box project. And I'm going to find that by going to this little filter down here and typing in dice as a keyword. And that's another project 
we create in the advanced course. Okay, so not only do we go to Canvas projects, let me just uh, take that filter. I have to take that filter off, like erase it, so all the projects come back again. Otherwise, if you're wondering why a lot of projects aren't displaying, check that you didn't turn on your filters. As you can see, there's there's crafting, boxes, 3D, home decor, like this vinyl tray, putting vinyl coffee cup on a tray, fabric pat patterns, um, ornaments, holidays. There's just amazing amounts of things in here. Okay, and then in the Canvas Workspace is my projects, like things that I've saved in here. And I have two accounts, so this isn't all my projects. This is some of the things we create in my courses and just different projects I have. Okay, there are pattern collections. Now, I personally have not purchased these, but maybe if enough people take my courses, I can purchase some of these. Who knows? I don't really even know how much they cost. I just know that they're locked. Okay, there's a little lock on these. I have watched episodes of Create and Craft TV or like the Create and Craft channel, Home Shopping Network type things where they do sell these pattern collections. And the idea is just like with the wireless card where you, you have to get an activation key so that when you click on these, let me just scroll down and show you some of the pattern collections. I'm just going to click on any one of them. So if you click on a pattern collection, it's going to ask you for the code. If you say activate, it's not free. You have to have a code. So while brother scanning, my brother offers a lot of things to you, they don't offer these pattern collections for free. Okay, so it would say rub off your code, type it in, etc., etc. And I don't have any of those. Maybe someday, maybe that'd be something I invest in. And then, of course, Disney licensed products. You can get. If you're familiar with the Cricut, then it's it's like you're getting it. It's almost like you're getting a cartridge or a collection of cut cutting files. And so these are these are different collections that they have. All right, so back to my projects and create a new one. Just to kind of show you what's on what's in this and you really want to get this because like I said it's free. You can design your own SVG files. You can design cutting files that you can transfer to your machine whether you transfer them via the cable, via USB, a thumb drive or USB stick or whether you transfer them wirelessly through the network. Okay, so you want to get this. And inside when you create a new project, you can give the project a title. And I just want to show you what some of the options are to you. And I'm not going through every menu here. I do in context. When I teach a project, I will show you which settings you need for that particular project. But I'm, it's not my style to go through every feature of the software because that's not how you learn software. You learn it in context to creating projects. I just want to show you, though, if you want to get started, just some things that you can see in here. There are basic shapes. And these are the shapes that are on your machine. But you can do a lot more with them when you have your mouse available to you and you're on the software. As far as, like, it's a lot easier to work with things in this software because you can you can weld and divide different shapes to make lots and lots of cute things. Here are some borders that you can cut out. And you can split these borders into separate patterns. Like say you just want a bow, you can take this and split it up. And we have logo, which just means those, those text that are like graphics that are in your machine already. One of the ones we work with is back to school. Back to school and I I show how to create a banner for a bulletin board. Here are just some of those. Now what I don't like is I, I don't see any of the, the clip art available on, you know, or the, the, the graphics from my machine on this version. Okay, so the things that I can cut right from my machine, I, don't, I would like to be able to manipulate them further here. But I haven't figured that out yet. And then we have the built-in fonts. Okay, the built-in text. Now, this is a point where I need to tell you 
about something else. Now, if you're a Mac user, please do not get upset with me. But Brother has a PC version of what we're using right now. Okay, I'm just going to type something while I'm talking, just to give you something to look at. I'm typing in some text. My name. All right. I am limited with this cloud-based version by these fonts here. But, however, if I download the PC version, which I'll show in another video, then I have all of the fonts available to me that are on my system. Okay, so if I wanted to use, you know, a font called Glitter Me Happy or whatever, it doesn't matter. If you want to use a font, like for example, I like a font called Mrs. It's a nice graphic design font and that's on my machine but I can't access it through this cloud-based version but I can access it through the PC version that I download okay other than that there's not many disadvantages to using the cloud-based version you do have to be logged in to use it you have to have an internet connection but other than that beside the font there's not many disadvantages to this there's more benefits to using it than nothing alright you can import and export different file types like here, importing SVG files. You can do what's, what's called image tracing. That means I can take one of my photos and I can trace it and make a cutting file from it. Like I'd photograph a lot of plants and a lot of underwater critters. So I can trace those and make cutting files out of them. And then when I'm all done, I can save the projects and I can, I can download the projects and I can download them onto my computer or on, and then I can save them to USB and transfer them manually to the my machine, or I can transfer them wirelessly. And I do sh show how to do that in context with future projects. So thank you for watching. Please go and download Canvas Workspace so that you can create your own design files and start cutting using your brother scan and cut. Thank you.